Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what's up guys? Saturday, uh, just out and about. We got some errands done this morning and uh, a package showed up in the mail. And uh, I think, uh, what is this anyway? It's a... I know it's a knife. It's a Massalong. Okay. We ordered it off Amazon because I got an alert, being a Prime member, that the price had dropped down to like $13. Okay. So... Excellent. So it's a $13 knife off Amazon. Yep. Right. So, uh, <laughs> let me go. I'm going to use my Topps knife today. Ooh. My, my cut 4.0 to open this. Let's see here. All right. Got some extra bubble wrap. Always, always like use that. extra I'll bubble always, wrap. Always use extra bubble wrap. That's how sharp this knife is. So, okay. That's made in China. Mm -hmm. Wrapped it up. Nice little plastic wrap here. Nice little box. There it is. Made in China. It says Malasong. Full tang. Yeah, knife. Uh, silver. Okay, so. There it is. Yeah, it comes in a nice little box though. Yeah. Little, uh, like jewelry style box. Yeah. And uh, oh, it has a sheath. Excellent. So cool box. Put that aside. Mm -hmm. And uh, there it is. All right. Let's see what this is. A little ring type knife. Oh wow. Okay. So a scalpel type. Wow. Let's check that out. Careful. Okay. Yeah. So they wrapped it up. So like that. Push it through. Here it is. Wow. Okay. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little, it's a little oily or greasy here. Let me just give it a real quick wipe with the, the bandana real quick. Here we go. Everything's out. Wow. Very light. Okay, full tang, solid, one piece. That's a cool little knife, actually. When it looks it, like an exacto knife. I grip it in my little hand, though. I mean, that pinky gets, that, I would say that pinky gets close, but it, I do, I did get a little worried about that pinky, especially ramming down on something or stabbing down on something yeah your, your hand, hand could sl slide could, it could slide that rings uh actually the ring's nice and uh beveled here let's let me set it down so we can get a closer look at it yeah okay so like that all right there we go yeah it's a nice little knife yeah but it does rem the blade shape does remind me of an exacto knife definitely you know, the craft knives yeah Definitely has like yeah the exacto uh the exacto, exacto style uh, blade shape yeah scalpel style mm -hmm. um, looks like all is that all stone wash that looks stone wash right yeah it does acid wash yeah no oh, you can kind of see the grinds on the blade but it does have like a like a a, a, a grayish stone finish. wash finish on yeah. it um you see that it's crowned it at the top and it's pressed in there on the side which is uh, nice and smooth really nice. That ring right there is really nice and smooth. See the diameter of that ring though. So yeah, you got a you got an inch ring on it, just like uh just like my cut my cut 4.0 here. Let's see here. That one has yeah a little, yeah a little over a little, little over yeah. Let's let's hold them on top of each other real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean that is a super light knife, even though it's all metal. Yeah. Yeah. So that ring kind of fits in the other ring. Yeah. So it's just a smidge smaller. Yeah, smidge smaller. Smidge. Yeah, you hold it. Let's see. The sheath is a little... Whoa. I was not expecting it to be that light. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a little heavier. Oops. Oops. Let me move, let me move yes. this out of the way. That out of the way, You're going to hurt that top tonight. But dang, I was expecting it to be a little bit weightier, but dang, that is nice. But I see what you mean. I'm kind of like... Trying to stay away, I feel like. Right, that pinky feels like it's in danger yep, a little it bit, does. Even, even though it's like a solid, maybe half inch. Yeah, but yeah. It, it just feels like. Uh, and we have small hands, yeah. So I mean, so, someone with bigger hands. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Seriously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, let's 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 see. This I mean, sheath. I like it. I let's, do like it. But yeah, let's see the sheath. The sheath is. I mean, yeah. it could plastic, be better. Plastic sheath. It, I, I, I like how it's taco shaped rather than sandwich shaped. Yeah. Um, this is just like the actually my top sh uh, sheath that I have on right now. Really? It's, yeah. It's that oh, fold, cool. it's that folded over style. Mm -hmm. I like that um, yeah, a lot you better. You do than, like that folded yeah, over it, shape. I, I think it makes a just a a more compact shape. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So if you wanted to neck neck rig this, you could totally easily do that with these two here. Yeah. I'm um, not sure how it, if they could have made the sheath smaller. I guess I guess you see a little bit of light in there. Yeah. So I guess you could call that a drain hole to a certain extent. I mean, water is going to drip out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, you got some. Uh, yeah, you got some Phillips heads there. 
they stick up a little bit. Let's see that clip a little bit from the side. Yeah. yeah. Let's try the retention on that. Give that a give that a good yeah. Yeah, Ooh, so it's pretty pretty. That's pretty tight. Let me see. I, I feel like that's gonna mark your uh, pants. Oh no, I I think that's pretty soft actually. Really? Well, what worries me though, I could see me sliding this on, mm -hmm. and it actually going behind that one right there. Yeah, that's what I was the, thinking too. The bottom too. of it, yeah, for sure. And then you think it's actually secured, but it's not. I mean, that's pretty thin right there. Yeah, it is. Here, uh, let's uh actually yeah, and let's see the diameter of that real quick. Yeah, we're looking at. Yeah, three quarters of an inch mm -hmm. wide on that, and then about two and a half yeah. inch clip there, which you know it gives you different. But I would do it like how I'm doing it. I would totally put this on inside the waistband and uh, put it right here on the front hip, and uh, put one of those straps like I have here on my tops knife. Um, I I would take it off right now, but uh, actually, He's I, 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 no, I I can. can? Here. Yeah, I just okay. mine has a little button right here. This is what I'm talking about here. Yeah. I'm trying to do this through the camera. Anyway, get my drift. I got to resize that anyway. I got to resize it because here, like that one, uh, it's a little, it's a little big right now for, for my belts. Uh, but uh, it still works. Um, and like I said, here's that taco, that taco sandwich uh, construction. Yeah. There's a little size difference here. A little size comparison. I mean, I mean, so I mean, look at you get a yeah. way much more, more substantial. But this was a thirteen dollar knife. Exactly. Well, let's see here. It, I mean, for thirteen dollars. Yeah. For thirteen bucks. I mean, look at that. Wow, I mean, so let's see. Let's just see how. Hold that up to a ruler. Let's just see how quick that is. I mean, thick that is. So you're looking at uh, about an eighth of an inch, and you have some jimping on it. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna know when your finger slides. <laughs> yeah, I mean, th this, 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 this grip here, mm -hmm. definitely. I mean, I almost feel like I could like I won't say break this knife here. Let's just see if I can flex it. Actually, I can't bend it. Maybe someone a little bit more stronger than me could probably bend that. But I wouldn't worry about this breaking like sideways. I'm really trying to force the sideways to bend it, and I can't bend it. But uh, so it seems solid in that in that that aspect. But uh, the jimping is actually really nice on it. It's exactly right where I would want it. I mean, perfect. Let's see the balance on here. Yeah. So we got we got the balance right in the middle there. And yes. this is a pretty light knife here. I'm sure yeah. it would get to scale out, and, get, um, and it's all crowned. Mm -hmm. All oh, one why. one piece. I liked it was really smooth. I mean, I mean, hand. you could probably put a paracord, a real thin paracord wrap this, or a gutted paracord wrap on this, and just really make it really, really cool. You know, mm -hmm. style it in your in, in the way you want to style it. But let's check out the sheath real quick one more time. Let's put it in there. So it does. It doesn't snap. And actually, to be honest with you, do I have this in the right way? Oh, nope. there it goes. I had I had it the wrong way. I mean. They kind so of, it's not it, ambidextrous. It kind of looks like it goes that way, but uh, I'm an idiot. And uh, I'm not. <laughs> here we go. Let's go. So it does. It snaps in. Let's, yeah. let's try shaking. A little bit. You can hear it a little bit, but I mean that's not bad at all. And shaking yeah. it upside down. <clears throat> I'm really trying to shake that thing out <clears throat> intentionally, and it's not coming out. And to draw it, wow, very simple. Let's hear the noise. Yeah. Nice. Like the shink. <laughs> All right, let's try cut test on it. As you see there, it looks like it has a flat grind with a with an extra V grind in it, mm -hmm. but full flat grind with a v, with an extra V grind in it. So the piercing capabilities in here in this grip. Let's see here. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Okay. So let's try let's try this grip here. So it's gonna it's gonna pierce little little tiny ones. My pocket knife probably do bigger damage now, but. Wow, it's sharp. <laughs> yeah, that's right out of the box too. Wow. Not bad. The thing is here with with it being so smooth and not being anything here, the problem is it's gonna want to go deeper, mm -hmm. and then it gets hung up right there. Yeah. But if you if you keep it on the belly and you're actually like more precision, you know, precision. precise cut cutting right there, and this type of cut, and you might be able to really fine cut. It. Yeah, and really trace some stuff on it. Let's try it here. And do some fine cutting as you see it's doing that no problem I'm not doing this through the camera um, but anyway cool $13 from Malifog I've seen other brands like this that are uh, worth more uh, that are more expensive so to find one at a at a, an affordable affordable budget price that's cool man it was worth uh, taking a look at and since she's a prime member um, free shipping yeah she got the free shipping we got the and free shipping and if we shipping. don't like it we can return it yeah 
but uh, $13, <laughs> why not? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it seems like a great little defense tool. This package here, I should get the scales out. This package here, it's, it's for what it is, it's, it's, it, I like the weight of it, the feel of it and everything. And, uh, but it, 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 it's a lot heavier than, of course, this package. And uh, this, I guess you could put this on your shorts if you wanted to, take it to the beach. You know, it's only 13 bucks. Yeah. Um, you know, and and you'd have a nice little self defense weapon or or an edge for whatever reason you need. But thirteen dollars free shipping. Why not get one? Yep. And just see if you even like that style before you get to anything more expensive. expensive. And that's exactly. kind of, and that's kind of what we're doing here. Yeah. But for thirteen dollars, I think it was a win. It was a yes. score. Um, <laughs> they have another one. I might buy another one just for the hell of it. But uh, it's Saturday, so we're gonna go enjoy our Saturday. Hope you guys have a good one. Hope you guys like the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Thanks.